Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this that's is Dixie. Dixie. And we're Love Hut for Life. We've been living on the road for 28 weeks now in our self-built truck bed tiny house. Where have we been this week? Uh, Western Nevada for the entire week. We have found some incredible boondocking spots, including this one that we're at right now. We're on a, this absolutely beautiful portion of Walker Lake called the 20 Mile Beach. Make sure you uh, subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video this week. We left you last week in the Painted Hills in Nevada, building ourselves one of them fancy commodes. And we posted a video on how we did that on YouTube earlier this week. The link is in the comments below. The next morning, it was time to pack up so that we could hit the road. Due to all of the projects that we completed last week, we had quite the load to take out with us. I really like this spot. Painted Hills is a mountain just west of Pyramid Lake in western Nevada. And the rock formations here are just outstanding. The coloration is just one to behold. It was undoubtedly one beautiful spot and not too terribly far off the highway, but we were happy to be on the road again. Our plan was to go to Pyramid Lake from there, but the guy in the hazmat suit scared us away. Unfortunately, we got rona again. The tribal police would not let us cross into their boundaries. Fortunately, that meant we had to go the other direction and we found a hidden spot just outside of the Carson Valley that was one to die for. This indigenous tribe was a lot more welcoming. While it's believed that these wild horses and their ancestors have been on this land since the early 1500s, it wasn't until 1971 that they became protected creatures and they would be our neighbors for the next several days. The next morning we had things to do, but due to high winds, those plans got put on hold, so we used the day for family time instead. You're so mean! <laughs> the terrain was a little rough for Kels, so I took a hike by myself instead. As always, I made it to higher ground and realized we were hidden in this nice little canyon of the Carson River Valley with the Dayton Valley on the other side. Just a great view. It wasn't until the next morning that we realized that these weather conditions were only going to get worse. There wasn't going to be much work done outside and we couldn't play games all day. So we decided to take the time to make some better use of uh, the space that we have inside. We rarely use the TV, but maybe it'll get more use in the bedroom. Right around sunset, the winds died down and we had some visitors outside the door. I've always dreamt of having the type of uh, pure freedom that wild horses have. I guess I'm getting pretty close though. Kelsey spent a lot of her childhood around horses, but I did not. So seeing these was quite captivating. That next morning, we were both really sad to say goodbye to this absolutely gorgeous place and our newfound friends. It 
It was a sad goodbye, but more adventures awaited us. We were back on the road again, and this time heading south. That meant backtracking a little bit for us, but we needed to find a place that was a little less windy and warm enough for us to be able to complete this uh, work that we had to do on the roof. Yep, we were headed the opposite direction of our plan. But hey, that's how life goes. Every road's fun to drive on. That's true, they are all fun to drive on. And this one happened to be taking us to one incredible place. We found ourselves at Walker Lake and we parked where water should be, but no longer is. This lake has dropped 181 feet in the time span between 1882 and 2016. It's crazy to imagine that something this beautiful is just a shell of what it once was. The next morning we were itching to see the water, so we took a sunrise walk down to the beach. When we got back, it was time to get to work and finally repair this roof of ours. Dixie and I aren't too much help on ladders, so we stood guard and took pictures. I've been hauling around the supplies for this roof repair, a bucket of silicone, since we left Florida. I'm very grateful for the gift I received, but I had just have been putting this task off. It took us all day, but we finished in time to walk down to the beach one more time at night. Our new daily ritual of taking a stroll has become something I really look forward to. The last time I saw a swarm of bugs like these, it was at Salton Sea. I'm learning if I find these near a body of water in the desert, I probably shouldn't be getting in it. The water sure is pretty though. Friday morning, it was time to get back to work getting that rubber coat onto the roof. It's one hell of a view from up here. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when the song Sweet Home Alabama comes on, regardless of what state we're in. We were done with work and it was time to do a little exploring. Walker Lake is kind of an odd place. It is a naturally occurring lake fed by the Walker River, and it's in the basin region of Nevada, but due to farming upstream, the water flow has been all but cut off, and in turn, all of the wildlife is dying and the water line is shrinking. It's really, really hard to look at something like this and think that it's dying. It's so beautiful. We have certainly enjoyed our time here. With storms headed our way and new neighbors pouring in, tomorrow will be time to hit the road. But tonight, we're just enjoying this absolutely gorgeous place. It should definitely be on everyone's bucket list. I told you guys you were gonna enjoy that. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up. Yeah, guys, it's been one hell of a week. We are about to start moving really quickly, partly because there's a storm coming in, but partly because it's just time. Uh, guys, if you uh, did enjoy this video, make sure that you go ahead and hit that bell button as well, because that way you'll be alerted and won't miss any of our upcoming adventures. We appreciate each and every one of our subscribers. Thank you all so much for being you. Peace out. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.